Hello YouTube and welcome to Chris and Tim's Simple How-To Videos. Alright, uh, today's video is going to be an update uh, for a video I did back in June of 2013. Um, it was a manual fix. Uh, since then I've actually found a uh, quicker Microsoft Fix-It, um, which uh, here's the page here. It's a very quick, you click on that link, fix this problem, follow the instructions. It's very simple. Um, uh, now, uh, this does fix this problem but there are other things that cause this problem. Um, memory can be a very big key to that one, which I found out. I did this new build, um, I'd say 2012 sometime, and I was fighting with it. Um, did memory test after memory test, and the memory always passed, but it turned out to be memory. Um, making sure the memory is compatible with your motherboard is absolutely key. Um, other things that cause this problem are also uh, if you're uh, into overclocking and you overclock your GPU too much or something like that, you will also get this display has stopped responding and has recovered. Whether you use an AMD or NVIDIA, it really doesn't matter which card you use. Um, but the Microsoft Fix It, which I will definitely leave that link in there for you. Also, another thing I want to show you real quick uh, would help you out. And then I will actually show you, I will go through the manual procedure again if uh, anybody that's, you know, a little bit more technical wants to do it the manual way. I will show that to you here in just a second. I'm going to show you one other thing here real quick. Go to Computer, right-click, and then go to Properties. Uh, when you get there, go to Advanced System Settings. Then you're going to want to go over here to the uh, Virtual Memory. Okay, and on this one, what I did, which uh, you'll see this in a lot of forums and a lot of blogs, uh, which is the best way to kind of keep the smoothness of your computer without uh, overdoing the resources in the background and using memory and stuff like this. So I'll hold this up here for a few seconds. You could copy this. Just uh, we'd click on custom. Uh, then you would pick the bottom four, skip three, and pick one more. All the other ones should be unchecked. Uh, this will help enhance... Uh, your, your background and stuff like that and let things work a little bit smoother especially on an older system or maybe a computer that might not have uh, that much memory for say four gigs or less let's say um, alright so you have that there um, another thing I did um, which uh, you know I, I think it does work uh, and I've read about it in the forums I did a custom size on my uh, on my memory, and what this really does is <clears throat> see it says recommended here. So basically, I wrote the recommended in the initial, and then I wrote it in the maximum. Uh, what this does here is it basically uses a little bit of your hard drive uh, to help with memory and push through uh, maybe more intensive programs. Uh, so I had it went ahead and did this, and this would require a restart if your computer if you do do this. All right, this is just another tip. All right, and then uh, we'll get out of this, and I will go through the manual procedure for this. All right, like I said, keep in mind memory is key. Um, and if you're putting memory in, of course, you you know, if it's one stick, skip a slot, put it in the second one. Uh, if it's two sticks, then it's the second one and the last one. All right, if you're just using the, the two sticks, just keep that in mind too. And uh, memory frequency, you just got to keep all these things in mind. Make sure, you, like your motherboard, you can't just go buy memory for motherboard. You have to make sure it's on a compatible list or, or make sure the memory is compatible with that because they do have memory that comes out after motherboards exist that they create to make sure they work with that motherboard. Either way, just make sure it works with your memory. All right, and the manual procedure to do it here would you be to go to let's see type in reg r e g e d i t all right uh this might require a password um if you know just use the password whatever the admin status is all right all right and as you can see I'm already here but let me go back up a step so you guys can see All right. Uh, why it's not working that way, I don't know. Regardless. All right. Either way, um, you want to click on local machine. Then it would be system. 
and after you click system it will be current control set then control and after that you want to find where it says graphics driver okay uh, and in here this box here uh, this is what you want to type capitalize the T DR delay and after you create that basically here I'll uh, I'll just create new and it's going to be the D word 32 bit value and my other video I do apologize I said 64 bit for 64 bit and 32 bit for 32 bit systems I was wrong about that uh, it's the D word 32 bit value and of course if you did the Microsoft fix it it automatically will do it the proper way um, so here and then I just basically T D R oops the caps must be locked and did T D R then capitalize the D and then when I after I created that well it's gonna say I can't create it because I already have one so uh, I'll just leave it at new value you know what it means this is what you want it to say here right click you modify it and then you change that value to 8 alright when you're done with that I'm gonna delete this of course because I don't need it um, when you're done with that just close everything uh, and restart your computer alright and that's the manual way to do it um, like I said that this definitely works but if you're having a memory issue or like I said you might be overclocking a graphics card or drivers are proper so there's there's a, quite a few things that cause this this is definitely one of the fixes uh, as far as that manual fix and since I found Microsoft fix it which really is it's the most simple way to do it uh, that I found so far um, anyway I just wanted to update this video I appreciate all your comments uh, whether they were dislikes or likes I appreciate all the comments that you gave us on my old video uh, I just want to say thank you uh, and if there's anything we could ever do please leave a message uh, you know we are kind of busy uh, but uh, we'll definitely try to get back to you as soon as possible and as always thank you and have a great day please subscribe if you guys are interested and uh, click on like or dislike on this video please thank you have a great day